scenes are what make Ecamm an absolute game changer in my opinion. And uh, when you get used to it, you might take them for granted, but the amount of times I've seen people who've never used scenes before go, Whoa, <laughs> I love it. And hopefully by the end of this, you will be agreeing with me and you'll see what I'm talking about. The ability to organize and plan and slickly move between, slickly, is that even a word? To be able to move nice and quickly between one thing and another, I absolutely love it. I kind of take this for granted now. I've been using it like this for years, but every time somebody comes in and sees this for the first time, they're just blown away by this one. Here we go. I think you're gonna get the same experience. So the easiest way for me to demonstrate to you what scenes are is just to build some scenes out and uh, let you see as we go. What I like with this is that it absolutely forces me to plan and prepare for my live, for my webinar or whatever it is that I'm showing up to because I got to think through what am I going to want to do? Am I sharing my screen? Am I doing an interview? Am I doing a presentation? Do I want a second camera? All of those things we're going to create a different scene for. So I'm going to have a go at running through this and let me actually build out what we do inside the Ecamm Live Academy and I'll show you how we use scenes over here on a regular basis. So we come over here first of all if you don't have your scenes window open remember that you click up here and uh, show the scenes window and it starts me off with this default scene and that's what we're looking at right here and I'm going to do my little clever command tilde to get rid of this off of here so that we're looking at this without all the overlays and this would be right for me really that let's start with this and I always want a shot like this that just comes back to me on the front camera and so I just call this one me. Now on our daily lives inside the Ecamm Academy we have a little intro countdown so I'm going to click on plus create a new scene and I'm going to call this one intro and notice what I can do on here is I can pick that up on the letters and I can actually rejig the order of this so we're going to put this one on the front and i use a video clip so uh, let me just find my little video clip and all i do with a video is to drag it straight on the front of here and in it comes notice i've got, i don't have my overlays on here at the minute so i need to put that back on actually because here's my little control to help me out with this video now we tend to use this because we're inside a group we like to just run this as a little four minute countdown before the time that the live starts it allows people to get in it allows us to bring the comments on screen uh, but what I want to do I don't want at the end of this live to then have to manually click across to me so what I can say is with this controller here this little switcher over the front when video ends I can say go to next scene so what will happen here is I'm going to start this playing at the start of our live and then as this counts down let's just show it oh it did it for me but I just want to catch it here uh, five seconds before the end and if I hit play here you're going to see that with me hands off this will automatically go to the end of the video clip and jump across to the next scene which is me here love it nice and easy now then what are the scenes might we want I will want to bring on the comments when I'm in a live and as people are commenting and chatting away what I found and actually it was uh, Owen my son that pointed this one out you know sometimes I'm sitting here reading a comment and I go all quiet and it is like we don't know what you're doing so actually it helps me to bring the comment on the screen so you can see what I'm reading so let me just show you how I do this I am going to start a new scene and instead of it being a um, the source being a camera, I'm going to go with blank. Now, this puts me into this black background for now. We'll sort that one out. What I can do in my overlays, and these are all coming up. Each of these individually, you're going to come to. So this will be a video to come back to, really. But I'm going to do a screen share overlay. And then it says to me, what do I want to show? And I'm going to pick Ecamm and Comments and Shape. I can choose Custom. Don't want any transitions. So what this lets me do is you can see over here on my desktop, I've got these comments. What I can do is to bring this in like this. And one of the newer, again, features here in Ecamm, you might have missed this if you uh, joined a while back and haven't seen this. I can hit Option on my keyboard, grab these edges and I can actually trim this in so I can lose that border at the sides and, and to be honest I can lose that bit where it says comments at the top and in it comes and I've just brought my comments here on screen 
which is where my live feed will be. So uh, this makes this really easy for me to be able to share this as I'm looking across rather than me one at a time pulling a comment in. Maybe I'm saying to people, hey, let me know where you're from. This allows me to just quickly go down it and go, oh, great to see you're from here, here, here. Um, and it feels more interactive because you're watching what I'm doing. But I want to be back on camera. So back over to overlays and I can choose a camera. And as you can see, as easy as this, I can select my camera. I tend to go custom all the time on this because it just allows me to shape this up as I want. I'm going to do my command tilde to lose these because I want to line this up. So when it sees that I'm at the same height, it'll give me that marker. And uh, I'm just going to line it up at the bottom and that's a about right on the edges as well there then. So see what I've done is I've brought me along the side of these comments. Lots of different ways that you could do this and resize it. I could just be smaller here and have the comments full size if I wanted to. But I think this works nicely. It's a good mix of me on camera plus the comments. What I'm not liking in this is this black background behind me. So what I can do again in the overlays over here, everything's happening. If you remember in that earlier video I showed you and I said the scene is the, the template, if you like, it's the page and the overlays are all the assets that we're bringing on. You can see here my desktop is this nice blue background. It's our kind of branded blue. And what I have is an image that is, I saved out to that same color I just made in Canva, a, a small little box that was the right size so that I can actually drag this in. And if you see where it says showing backgrounds, if I drop this blue background in, it has now dropped this in over the, in the background of here. And so instead of that black on the blank, <laughs> does that make sense? We've got a blank background, which is black. I've now put a color over the back of that. In fact, let me pick a different one that just shows a bit more texture to it. See that there's one here now that um, if I minimize these on the front, you'll see that now I've created this background and I can bring my camera over that and I can bring this one on. What I can also do with these is to put a little radius around it if I want to. So uh, I'm not gonna go very heavy, let's nine. And uh, we're here in Ecamm, so why don't we use the Ecamm colors? And I can do the same thing over here on this one. And where did we go? Nine. And pick the same color. So we're starting to brand this up. So I come from, we've done our intro. Comes into me. And then as I'm talking and I'm saying, hey, let me know where you're from. Then I can come over to here like this. And actually, as I'm looking down those comments, you're seeing me looking, it all suddenly feels a lot more connected. So that's comments. Now don't worry about the specifics. This is just me and how I'm using it. Let's do a presentation. I've got a few things on my desktop here ready to go. So I could start from scratch again and do that blank background, bring in a photo of me, bring in my keynote presentation. What I'm going to do is clone this one here. So I hit this little clone duplicate symbol here and it says copy of. I should have named this one first and called it comments. And then I come down to this one here and this is going to be, I'm just gonna put PowerPoint PPT there. So that's my comments. This is the new one. It hasn't changed because we haven't changed it yet. There are different ways that I can do this. Sorry to keep saying it, but we will get onto this in a later video. But this is the window that I want to share. And so what I'm going to do is to make myself smaller on this for now. And then over here, this is going to be, instead of showing Ecamm Live, I'm going to show Keynote. And we're going to do the same thing. And I'm just going to crop this to the size of it. Lots of different ways of doing this. And you'll, you'll see that. I'm going to give you some plenty of options as to how you can present Keynote like this. But um, what I can do in Keynote is to jump through my slides over here and you can see that that's changing in that scene. All right, so this is uh, uh, this is me jumping around from me to comments to my PowerPoint, back to me. Just quickly, let, what else could we put in here? A screen share, I've got a screen open. So that feels very much like this one and I want them to look similar. So this one is going to say screen share. And instead this time of 
pulling in my keynote. This time I want to select Google and we're going to use this pricing window that's open here. And so actually that already fits. So I've gone from this one to my screen share and I can scroll up and down on here. You can see how that's working when you see the whole window. It starts to become really nice. Can you see why I love having these scenes on here? Now there's a couple of ways of working with scenes. You can, as I'm doing here, just have one of each of these scenes and you jump between them. Another way that I work, if I'm doing a webinar and I'm trying to work through it in stages and it's all quite logical, what I might do actually is to create multiple scenes of the same. So I'm literally just clicking next scene, next scene. So I know as I've planned this out, the intro is going to come down, it's going to come to me. Then I want to go to comments. And then if I want to come back to me again, I actually duplicate this and I create a complete run of show in effect that I just, I know the next stage down in my presentation is going to be me full screen or it's going to be sharing the slide share. So I actually can keep bringing that in multiple times. More recently, this has been how I'm using it. I'm using a stream deck, which I'll talk to you about uh, in another video setting this up but then what i can do is i can allocate a button down here for each of those so i can press me i can press comments powerpoint screen share and i can jump between them easily like that if i want to do bullet points uh you'll see how i bring that in uh, with text overlays if we want to bring a video file in if we want to bring any of these other assets and things in we're constantly just creating a new scene every time rather than midway through you know if i suddenly in the middle of a live go oh how do i bring the comments up let me just do a screen share and no the power of this is the fact that uh, as simple as anything, I can go, right, let's just have a look at your comments. And while I'm talking, I click a button and off we go. And uh, I decide, right, we've had enough of that. Let's come back to me talking and let's get on with this. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Does that look good? We can also put these into folders. So if you wanted, we can create a folder and um, I can call this e ELA for Ecamm Live Academy. I would have an outro video and different things as well. But look, if I bring these in here, Again, it just helps me to organize it and I can pop that into there and that's all tucked into a folder. Now, I work less in folders these days because we use profiles. So you've had a look around at all these scenes. I'm going to give you a little recap on profiles as well. Yeah, I tend to use profiles rather than folders. And if I feel it's something different, I guess what might happen in here is if there's a maybe for the different days in my academy on some days I'm doing interviews or maybe it's Owen and myself that are on rather than just me. And so scenes like this aren't going to work with both of us. So we need to create another scene where it shows both of us and the comments in the middle. So I guess they would be the times really that I would go within the same profile for Ecamm Academy. I can say, you know, one person and then maybe I put that in a folder and then in the next folder it's for two presenters. Yeah, just just again is a nice way of organizing it without having a whole list here that I'm going, which one am I looking for? So you'll get used to this. This is your first look at it. Uh, hopefully it's just uh, wetting your appetite and letting you see the possibilities with this. Okay, so I reckon we need to get in and have a look at some of these overlays now. It's one of the biggest sections of this. Definitely it's something you can come back to, but it's in the playlist over here. And uh, why don't you click, come over and join us in this next video straight away. And we'll start getting into the meat of these overlays. See you there.